channel you're watching. King and Queen Cichlids. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Scott and Liz from King Queen Cichlids and we are at the Aquatic Experience and we're going to bring that experience directly to you. You ready to go? Yes. Hit that cue. <laughs> win something. I'm not really looking for the money, but I'm looking for those medals and trophies so I can show. So people will come to my house, they see that I'm really into this stuff, and I win, and when I breed fish, they can see that this fish has won something, so it can go with that fish. Right, and it speaks about the level of mastery you have with fish in the aquarium. So. Yes. Yeah. Right now, talk about excitement. There they are, there they so go. So if you have a fish that you love and you haven't thought about showing them yet, you might want to think about it. Yep. It's an amazing experience. The trophies are cool and the money's nice and all that, but the little kids are where it's at. Yeah, it's just, absolutely. It's, it's the best part of the whole show. What's up guys, it's your boy Scott from King Queen Cichlids bring you yet another video. It is early Sunday morning and we're wrapping up the show. People are gonna come in from like 10 till 4 o'clock. But I had to get me some B-roll, right? Because you guys wanna see what was going on. We're gonna take a quick review of some of the fish. No, you're probably not gonna see each and every fish. There was over 90 entered into the show. We're gonna go a quick preview of it and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. I really didn't get much time to spend at the Aquatic Experience and bring you each and everything that was going on, but the show was near and dear to my heart, plus I helped plan it, so I gotta show it to you guys, right? But first of all, check this out, come on. Won't believe this. You've seen that guy before, right? That's right, that's my Chancho. He won Best Reserve Show in first place in his class. Super excited. We had eight entries in the Amphilophus section, and my boy, my Chancho, took first place. And I'm pretty impressed with that because there was some steep, steep competition. So let me pan and show you the competition. I think you're going to be impressed. So down here we got Thor. We're gonna tell you a lot about Thor in a video all to himself because he's so spectacular. He deserves his own video. But that's Thor. I thought that he was gonna take the entire show. I'm a little surprised he didn't. We'll talk about that later too. This beautiful guy up here, this is Susie Q's Amphilophus centronilus. Amphilophus centronilus or centronillum. And we call her Hot Lips Hula Hand. Look at the lipstick on her lips. 
Suzy Q's fish has done amazing. A little more size on it, and it will probably win the next show it goes in. It needs about one more year of growth. It's gonna be spectacular. Keep going, Suzy Q. Then, of course, there's my big boy right there. You know who it is. My Chancho. Doesn't he look sexy as hell, especially with those ribbons around him. I'm so excited. Now, now I also brought Joker with me, so Joker. Kelly, if you're out there, he did pretty well at his first show. He didn't place, he didn't place, but he did really good, so we're pretty proud of him. And then this big boy came in second place. He is an Amphilophus alabiatus. Check him out. This is Tim's fish. Beautiful specimen. And then the and then the last entry. One of my all-time favorites, but I don't have them, but I've had them before. One of my all-time favorites, the Hagaboomer room. Check him out. See if I can zoom in and check him out. Pretty freaking cool, huh? Alright, you want to see some flower horns? I know it's controversial, but do you want to see some flower horns? Yeah. Come on, let's check it out. I'm going to keep you live. Check out all these fish. Now, of course, huge thank you to the American Cichlid Association and the Aquatic Experience for putting on this show. It was a great, great success. There's the banner right there. Doesn't look great, all the tank. All the tanks and the banner. It looks pretty cool, right? I love it. So, let's go to the most controversial part and probably the most visited section of our show. Which is the flower horns. The flower horns are very controversial because they're hybrids of what cichlids are. They're two different cichlids mixed together to create this, what I consider, beautiful fish. Now, a lot of controversy about it. I'm not going to get into it right here because I am very appreciative that we got 18 entries of flower horns. Let's take a look at them. Come on. Now this guy won not only for his coloration, but because of his huge cock. That's right, we call it cock, K-O-K, -K, or nuchal hump. But a large part of the judging depends on their color, condition, and the size of their cock. I know it's funny, but it's true. This is a beautiful fish and spectacular in every way. Let's check out some more.
check this winner out. tell you how disappointed I was in this guy right here. He hid the entire time. So let's take a look at him. He's my crypto heroes. Come on. Now fish are never going to win if they are up in a corner like this. As spectacular as this fish is, condition, finish, and everything, you can't see him. So judges won't give him a good score because he's not going to show well. He'll do better next time. Now this, this fish that won is a Cuban. It's not mine, but he is now. I just purchased him. He's a beautiful fish and I can't wait to get him in the fish room. Pretty spectacular. giving you this footage but I'm going to lower the camera and we're going to span some of the other fish that won down here on low on row one so let's check it out Woo.
guys, that is my time. This has been well over 15 minutes. And I know you guys don't like videos over 15 to 20 minutes. Now I could take an hour showing you each and every fish that was an entry at the Aquatic Experience Cichlid Show. But again, we just don't have that time. If you would like to see more, leave comments below letting me know specifically what fish you'd like to see or if you'd like the extended version showing you each and every cichlid that was entered in the show. Again, 90 entries, lots of beautiful uh, varieties of cichlids. I think you guys would enjoy extended version, but I gotta know you want it first, okay? It's my hope that you guys enjoy this video, so please leave me a thumbs up and leave comments below if you'd like to see more. If for some reason you didn't enjoy this video or your experience with King Queen Cichlids, leave me comments below letting me know what I can do to improve your experience at King Queen Cichlids. The thing I want to do is thank each and every one of you guys that came out to see Liz and I at the Aquatic Experience. We sold a ton of shirts, I met a ton of people, and it was, it was life changing. It meant a lot to me. It made me feel like what we're doing here at King Queen Cichlids is really making a difference. It's reaching out to a lot of different people. And to have you guys come to us and say, hey, we enjoy what you're doing, just means the world to me. So thank you so much for that, guys. All right, guys, without further ado, thank you so much. You didn't have to view us at this particular time on this particular day, but you did. And Liz and I greatly appreciate that. I hope you guys will join us Sunday at 8 o'clock. It's going to be a lot of fun. But it can't be fun unless you guys are there. So please bring your friends, bring your family. Let's sit in front of the computer, the TV, or the telephone, whatever you use to see us live. And let's have a party. Let's talk about the aquatic experience. Let's have some fun. I look forward to seeing you guys. And again, thank you so much for viewing this video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. So I can go off my porn channel and go to King and Queen Cichlids. Both sites have things spawning, so they're very similar. Security. In that sense. Security. I'll see you later. My anaconda don't, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon.